The six were arraigned on Monday after the police on Friday revealed via their social media handles of having arrested the key suspects in the killing of military officer Imoro Sharif. News of the arrest came three days after the military in what has been widely condemned invaded a shaman in attempts to find perpetrators of the killing of the late military officer. In the process, over 100 persons were arrested and several residents of a shaman were subjected to what has been described unjust and unconstitutional treatment. The police, however, arrested suspects Samuel Tete, Abu Bakar Sadiq, Ibrahim Abdul Rakib, Safian Musa, Yusuf Muhammad, and Abdul Gafaru, Abdul Karim, in an intelligence led operation. The six have since been charged over counts of robbery and dishonestly receiving contrary to the Criminal Offences Act 1960, Act 29. In court on Monday, prosecution noted that Samuel Tete alias Wiper and Abu Bakr Sadiq alias Bedman, who attacked the deceased on May 4 and made away with an iPhone belonging to the late soldier, were charged with conspiracy to commit robbery and robbery. According to the particulars of the offences, the two on March 4 at a shaman in the Greater Accra region, for the purposes of stealing a mobile phone from Imoro Sharif, stabbed him with the intent to overcome the resistance of Imoro Sharif in order to steal his mobile phone. The four other accused persons, Ibrahim Abdul Rakib, Safian Musa, Muhammad Yusuf, and Abdul Gafaro Abdul Karim, have been charged with dishonestly receiving contrary to section 146 of the criminal offenses act lawyer of the four have been explaining what the offense of this honestly receiving means so my client was simply charged for the offense of this honest receiving and it's simply because the police or the prosecution is saying that some of the foods believed to be owned by the um, late sheriff Imu were sold to my clients and this is a situation that any of us can fall victim to, especially if you don't buy phones from the shops. You can be there, they will come and sell any item to you. Ibrahim Abdul Rakib is a scrap dealer according to the prosecution on the 4th and 5th day of March 2023 at a shaman Taifa, bought an iPhone at the cost of 300 Ghana cities from Samuel Tete and Abu Bakar Sadiq, knowing the phone was the one retrieved from the crime scene. Safian Musa, who is a trader on the other hand, is alleged to have subsequently bought an iPhone from Ibrahim Abdul Rakib, knowing the phone was received by means of crime at a cost of 350 Ghana cities. Mohammed Yusuf and Abdul Ghaffar Abdul Karim, who are both drivers, are also alleged to have on March 5 assisted Safian Musa in the disposal of an iPhone, otherwise than with a purpose to restore it to the owner, knowing the phone was obtained by means of crime. The lawyer of the accused prayed the court to grant his client's bail, but that was refused and all six have been remanded into prison custody. The six pleaded not guilty to the charges and the case has been adjourned to March 27, 2023. From the onset, that was going to be a tough one. Remember, this case has so much public interest in it. And so on the first day, it's always difficult to get bail. But that will not close us or close the doors on us. We are here, we let the court know that clearly um, ACE, three to ACEs are clearly innocent. They have no connection whatsoever. In fact, those who even bought the phone, they have admitted, even in the facts, haven't bought the said food. But they are not aware that they were stolen foods. 